Welcome back once more. Sorry that video uh, last time was a little short, but you know, because um, this next part will be pretty important. So I figured I would stop at a stopping point. Um, so let's uh, sh let's go to a week later, <laughs> essentially. I think there's a cutscene here. Maybe. Yeah. In one brutal attack. The promise of those at the Academy had been all but snuffed out. Hope disappeared with the Waterdavian creatures, and the weight of the terrible sickness pressed down on the city once more. Even more chilling, the whispered rumors of enemies seeking to destroy Neverwinter from within had proved true. Though the identity of those responsible for the slaughter was as yet unknown. Still, a flicker of hope yet remained, for not all had died in the attack. From the bloody carnage at the Academy, a survivor had stepped forward, a champion to carry the torch in this darkest hour. <coughs> Excuse me. That would be us. <laughs> Oh, and here we are, a week later. And here's this jerk again, the Sanctifenthic. You were quick to answer the summons. Allow me to be the first to welcome you to the Halls of Justice. I don't know where I'm entering from and why, but I guess the back door? But the, it never gets used again. It's just weird. This is a mistake, Fenthic. We know nothing about this whelp. How can you so blindly trust them? Jester, please. Lomir showed great promise through his training in the Academy and uh, has done even more in the week since the attack. Rarely has a recruit uh, shown such potential after so short a training period. If we are to have any hope of finding a cure for the Wailing Death, we need people like Lomir in the service of Neverwinter. Sorry. <laughs> uh, only serve as as if uh, if I am well paid. Such callous disregard for the suffering of others. Is this the kind of mercenary we want to work for us, Fenthic? There is nothing wrong with wanting to earn one's fortune in the world, Dester. Rest assured, Lomir, you will be well rewarded for your efforts. Better be. Please, Lomir, you must forgive Dester. The plague has t uh, the plague takes a heavy toll on, uh, on us all. A toll made even greater at the in the past weeks by the attack on the academy and the loss of the cure. Uh, <laughs> Dester had better watch his mouth before he might, or he might lose some teeth. You do not understand, Lomir. The true horror of the Wailing Death has uh, yet to be felt within the academy's walls. The quarantine of Neverwinter has done little to halt the spread of the Wailing Death. Bonfires burn uh, night and day as the city watches to this. Excuse me. The <laughs> city watch disposes of the dead, yet the corpses are piling even higher. It is all we can do to contain the chaos and maintain order within the various city districts. Rumor, uh, rumors run rampant, then the citizens are on the verge of panic. Because the plague cannot be cured by the priests or clerics of the city, some claim uh, it is an unnatural thing sent by an unknown enemy bent on destroying Neverwinter. The attack of the Academy in these past weeks, uh, the attack on the Academy in these past weeks will make, uh, will only make things worse, Fenthic. Once you learn how Arabeth lost the cure through her la- once people learn how Arabeth- okay, I'll find whatever. Dester, I will not have you question the faith of my true love. Arabeth believed the Academy to be a safe haven. Uh, anyway, it is not our place to even discuss such things. My Lady Arabeth is in charge, appointed by Lord Nasher himself to stop the Wailing Death. You must uh, talk to her, her Lomir, as soon as possible. Uh, I guess I'd better go to her if I want some kind of reward. <laughs> My Lady Arabeth awaits you in the chamber beyond the north door. Uh, there she works tirelessly to put an end to the plague that ravages Neverwinter. Go with the blessing of tear upon you. Yeah, yeah. 
They're like dead bodies. What are we doing in here? Okay. I greet you. Can I ask some questions? I really should be taking attending to the sick, but I can spare a few moments. Uh yeah, I don't know if she's gonna tell me anything useful. As much as most, less than some, I suppose I've seen my fair share of the dead and dying since I started to work here tending to the sick. Uh yeah, I don't know if she's just gonna be it's not really all that important, I don't think. I thought there was some way you could interact with the nurses and help or something. Welcome to you. I regret I did not get a chance to introduce myself properly to you while you were training at the academy. I am Lady Erebeth de Tilmerand, paladin in the service of Tyr, and the right hand of Nasha Alagondor, Lord of Neverwinter. I have been waiting for you. All right. Uh... <laughs> oh, dear Fenthic, the love of my life. He has been my rock during these troubled times, but even he cannot help me with this. I have been following your progress since your early training at the Academy. Neverwinter has need of one like you if we are to survive the Wailing Death. The attack on the Academy doused the one faint spark of hope the city had. I need you to help recover that which we have lost. I'll help you for a price. I promise your reward for this task will be well worth your efforts. There are many rumors about to see the plague, a trend here. <laughs> but if you are to aid me in this, it is important you know the truth about the Wailing Death. Our divine healers can do nothing to help those afflicted by the Wailing Death. And even our most powerful magic cannot raise those who succumb to the illness. But a short time ago, we had word that Kelvin Blackstaff Arunson, <coughs> the famous Archmage of Waterdeep, had discovered a potential cure, one that might be concocted from the essence of four rare and magical creatures. Uh, uh, I have heard such rumors before. Under great secrecy, <laughs> the four creatures were gathered in Waterdeep, then sent here to Neverwinter. As strange a menagerie as any has ever set eyes on. A cockatrice, an intellect devourer, a yonti, and a dryad. I ordered them sent to the Academy, Neverwinter's renowned training institution for adventurers of every ilk. I once studied there myself, and I thought the instructors and students were loyal to Lord Nasher. So you think someone within the Academy... The Academy may have been betrayed from within. Or perhaps I simply put too much faith in the instructors, students, and staff to keep this new secret, as Desta claims. You were there. You saw the slaughter. The attack caught us unprepared. You are one of only a handful of survivors from the carnage of the Academy. Benthic and Desta arrived with reinforcements, but during the confusion of battle, the Water Davian creatures disappeared into the streets of Neverwinter, and our hopes of a cure vanished with them. Uh, how may I Your serve task you? in this is twofold. First, find the Water Davian creatures and bring them back to me, at any cost. We need to harvest components from these creatures if we are to concoct a cure for the Wailing Death. This is your most important duty. Yes, ma'am. Second, we must discover who was behind the attack on the Academy. Any evidence you uncover in this matter should be brought to Fenthic. He is the one assigned the task of unmasking our hidden enemy. Uh, <laughs> the reward Whatever better be worth Whatever rewards while. you seek, fame, fortune, glory, you shall have in abundance. Provided you are suc I ask for your discretion in this matter. News of the attack and strange creatures roaming the city will only add to the panic and chaos already in the streets. To aid you in your task, I will give you this Stone of Recall. You yeah. will find it to be a valuable tool in your quest. Very important. Very, very, very important. Basically a town portal. You can activate the Stone of Recall at any time, and it will instantly teleport you and anyone in your service back here to the Temple of Tyr. Any time you go through the teleportation portal in Tyr's temple, 
It will instantly send you and any companions back to the place your stone was last activated. That's handy. There is little else I can tell you about this mission. Whenever you need provisions, come speak to me again, and I can sell them to you through the store here at Tears Temple. Take this gold so you can buy the necessary supplies right. for your mission. Remember to stock up on healing potions before you go. They will be critical to your survival. Uh, I'll begin you might want to once. seek someone to accompany you in your mission. There are a number of mercenaries for hire at the Trade of Blades, located in the city core. A good place to begin your search for the missing creatures might be the Peninsula District. There have been several eyewitness accounts of strange beasts in the air. All right, I'll do Farewell. That. May Tia guide your steps. All right. Wait, do you Welcome. have Welcome. Do you have news? Temple services. <laughs> Sorry, lady. I don't want to talk to you about silly stuff. Oh, she won't buy. <laughs> she won't buy traps. Okay. Don't need these gloves. Need somebody to buy all these traps, though. Uh, oh nope. Edit. Uh, didn't want to do that. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay. Thought there was a quicker way to sell stuff, but we take books. Okay. I guess I have to just drag it. Oops. Keep those. Yeah. Uh, books, 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 and we can actually read those from here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, see, so it doesn't really matter if we sell them or not. She'll she'll still be here, so. Uh, I don't need a healer's kit. Uh, yeah, we don't really have any money right now. Nothing really that we need to buy, other than lots of potions, obviously. Oh. I guess we already have... Oh, wait. That's a potion of bless. Ah, I didn't realize that. They look the same. Okay, there we go. Okay. Do we have any good weapons here that we might want to buy? Nah, more like monk and priest weapons. Oh my gosh, excuse me. Uh, boots. They are Constitution plus one, and those are f these are from monks. And ooh, yeah, I forgot there's robes. Oh man, I can't afford that. That's for sure. AC and yeah, these look like they're from the the Diamond Edition. <laughs> they're like fancy looking. Okay, okay, I can't look at it. What it would look like on me. Okay, yeah, we don't need anything from you. Get out of my way. <laughs> Alright. Who are you? Sorgol. Hello to you. Greetings, Lomir. Arabeth has instructed me to provide whatever assistance I can I can in your mission to recover the missing water Davian creatures. However, my mission is not of a healing nature. My skills are tied to the teleportion portal teleportation portal in this temple and the stone of recall in your backpack. Is there, uh, is there something I can do for you? Um, I, nah, not right now. Farewell. Okay, bye. Uh, yeah, I think this is, this is where we go when we die. This is where we go to recall. I don't remember what the divining portal does, though. Oh, this is like our, uh, bank, essentially, I think. To recover items. Anyways. Let's see, what else is in here? There's this direction. Is there anything over here? I don't think we can go here. Yeah. They put doors in here a lot where they don't actually go anywhere. This doesn't go anywhere either, I don't think. No. It's this one. We'll talk to these guys before we leave the temple. Hello, Olaf. Greetings of the even-handed to you. Welcome to the House of Tear. 
I am Reverend Judge Olaf Uskar, in service of the maimed god. Um, hello, Olaf. I am Lomir Plebeian. Will you answer some of my questions? Um, what is your position here? We administer to the plague sufferers. For previously, we were working on artifact recovery, which may be even important now. Er, is uh, it is really important, or it's really a matter that would only concern some of the more spiritually minded, and I don't think that you're the type. No offense meant. I might still be able to help. Perhaps I was too quick to judge. <laughs> that was easy. Uh, you seem sincere, 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 sincere enough. You may be able to understand why this is so important. In the weeks before the plague, we, were, we uncovered the tomb of Maya Slav. The uh, fair blade. She traveled widely with Halueth Never, founder of Neverwinter. This was a great discovery, and gave clues to the whereabouts of the founder's resting place. That would, oh, excuse me, would have uh, been a great discovery indeed. The plague undoubtedly complicated things. Yes, it did. It is very unfortunate. Beside, because pursuing these tombs because becomes all the more important with the city in crisis as it is. People are scared, and the lack of progress on a cure has diminished their hopes. I a find like this would buoy their spirits. Uh, there uh, is also a chance that a powerful artifact, the f that powerful artifacts could be found alongside Halloweth's never Halloweth never's remains, though I would not rest my hopes upon it. Uh, I will help you. Uh, I welcome your aid in this matter. If you, or you couldn't have arrived at a more fortuitous time. Here, take these, this letter with my seal. It signifies that you act with my, you act with my sanction. Take it to Briley in the Peninsula District and he will aid you. He guards one of the tombs already found. Okay. I may do this. This is like a side quest. It is in the basement of the house on the east side of the Peninsula District. Return to me if you find anything and I will reward you. Alright, see you later. Nothing really else over here. Just him. Leave in the temple. Leave in the temple. Oh. Hey, you look like a small version of me. You have the smell of a prospective employer about you. Not that it's easy to smell anything with all the burning corpses in this city, mind you. <laughs> Never seen this many flies outside of a Callum Shot alehouse. Um, <laughs> uh, who are you? Me? Why I'm no? <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to do this. Why I'm none other than the renowned rogue Tommy Undergallows. Grin to my friends, Tommy Grin to the lasses, and that damned halfling to anyone in the position of respectful authority. I can't forgive you for not having heard of me, however. I heal most recently from Callumport, and that's a long way even for my reputation to travel. <laughs> this is bad. I, I give it another week, personally. Um, that's quite a long way to travel. You know how it goes, I'm sure. Rob some over fat uh, human caliph with piggy lips. Kiss his daughter as uh, as a lark before you escape with the loot. And suddenly you're the most wanted man in Kalimshan. How was I supposed to know he was so sensitive about his daughter? Uh, I still say it was worth it. That, uh, that took flair, and I have flair. Too bad Neverwinter didn't treat me any better at first. Uh, he hunted you for kissing his daughter? Well, I use the word kissing loosely, my lord. Uh, trouble was, the lass was set to marry the Pasha's son, so as long as she was a virgin, ah, well. What happened then? Never would have received a fine enough city for an enterprising young halfling like myself. On the surface, anyways. You'll, you'd be surprised at what, uh, people can get away with here. They can take a perfectly innocent man, accuse him of simple pickpocketing, and throw him in prison without even so much as a trial. 
were not a very fair one anyways. The judge was mean. <laughs> that doesn't mean it wasn't fair. Uh, fortunately, my stay in Neverwinter's fine prison system was a short one. I didn't arrange for my escape, oddly enough, but it was gl I was glad to... I was glad for it nonetheless. Uh... So you're a convict, then? Technically, I suppose I am. Trust me, however, they ha have so many other things to worry about that in that prison, even if they thought I was dead, they wouldn't trouble me with it. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, I'm very burpy today. Um... Uh... Why did you say that? What trouble? The exact going-ons with the prison I'm not entirely aware of, my lord. To tell you the truth, I had only been a prison in prison for a few days and was just starting to think of about how depressing life was uh, when it all began. The warden of the place began babbling some nonsense and started releasing all the prisoners. Even the truly despicable types. Murderers, politicians, lawyers, you name it. <laughs> I left the area quickly, of course, and wound up here in the temple. A uh, nice, safe place to be. Last I heard, the prisoners were all tearing up the peninsula district, making a royal mess. Hmm, not the lawyers, though. They were just overcharging. <laughs> oh, gosh. Why would the warden release the prisoners? I can't really say. Some of the other fellows were talking like there was some sort of some powerful prisoner who was controlling the warden and making him do these things sounds too strange to me. More likely it was a brain s he was brain sick with the plague. The entire peninsula district was in is in an uproar. However, I don't think the local constabulary has it under control under control either. Come to think of it, I saw no more than a few people getting attacked in the street in broad daylight. If you heard uh, if you head to that part of town, you might want to, you might want someone along to nose the roads, eh? Uh, oh, a mission, is it? My pinky toes are quivering with curiosity, or is it a, or is it my danger sense? Hmm, that would go a long way toward explaining my recklessness. Oh well, what kind of mission are you on? Uh, I work for Lady Arabeth, I'm have been instructed to find several missing creatures. Uh, I'll just say confidential. <laughs> ah, which makes you some kind of secret agent for the lovely Elven lass. Must be exciting. I'll be. I'd be glad to help out for the right price. So let's negotiate, shall we? Can I can place my superior skills of theft, lockpicking, swordplay at your disposal for any task you choose, providing that you can provide me with a nice payment now. Um. I don't know if I want this guy, because he's exactly me, so... <laughs> uh... 200... I already... I only have 200, so... Uh, I don't have... I'll just be going. Well, fine. Undergallows is here, blah, blah, blah. And we have the chance later, if we decide to change our minds, if we get better, um, to pick him up now. But he's a rogue, and I'm a rogue, and we kind of need a well-rounded party, so... Oh, please, can you help me? You're with the city militia, aren't you? The guards at the gate said I might have... or might get help over here, but I don't know if they were serious or not. Slow down. I'll hear what you have to say. Thank you. I don't mean to take uh, you away from your duties. I mean, you're the guard, right? Probably got your hands full, but this is important. It's the Peninsula District. I live there, and oh, it's just horrible. The killing. Everyone is running for their lives. It's horrible. Uh, easy then. Tell me when you're ready. Okay, okay. I came from the Peninsula District. That's where my home is. Was. Now it's too dangerous to go there. The prisoners are killing everyone. It's awful. Uh, I may have heard of this. Give me some background on the Peninsula District. Well, it's kind of complicated. The Peninsula District houses the Neverwinter Prison. The families of the guards and such live around it. It's been safe for years. It changed... Uh, a little while ago, the guards never came to work, uh, came home from work one day, and now the prisoners are everywhere. First the plague, now the threat of knife in your belly. Uh, let's see what I can do. You stay where it's safe. Thank you. I can't say, how, you can't, I can't say how much this means to me. Do you need directions? I'll tell you to be sure. The Pen Peninsula District is through the gate on the southwest side of the city core, near the Moonstone Mask. 
There are guards, blah, 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 blah. blah. Okay. Bye bye. Oh boy, lots of corpse piles. Yeesh. Uh, hmm, where should we go? Let's go to this place, the Traded Blades. Oh wait, hold on. Well met. Um, I'll answer what I can. Just keep back from that palaster. Try not to ble breathe the fumes directly. Ugh, it's disgusting. Um, that can't be a pleasant task for you. Far from it. The wailing death has already taken my wife and my son from me. However, it is as if a Tis not as if it can get any worse for me. If I catch the plague here, I w it won't be so bad. At least I'll see my family again. There are other guards that still have folk to live for. I believe you'll see your family. Uh, I hope you're right that you'll see your family. I hope so too. The Helm Helmites say that's the way of it, but Helm isn't answering their calls. Maybe the gods have abandoned us finally. Uh. I thought there was something... Eh. We don't really need any more information. But that was depressing. <laughs> we'll go in here real quick. Because the first thing we need to do is get ourselves a merc. Or a henchman, I guess. And who should we get? Let's see. Okay. There's an... Let's see, there's an... This guy, she's a bard. She's okay. He's an e uh, kind of evilish monk. Uh, he's a sorcerer. And let's see. She's a um, cleric. But I think what we're gonna get, since we're a thiefy man, we're going to get ourselves a big old burly bodyguard, a barbarian. Greetings. I see you are not yet infected by the plague that ravages Neverwinter. Among such suffering and misery, we who are not yet afflicted must be grateful for our health. And some of you might recognize that voice actor. He's been in a lot of uh, anime and other an animation. Um, gosh, his name escapes me right now, but he's really, really famous. Who are you? I'm Dalen Red Tiger of the Uthgard tribes of the Frozen North. But it came. Uh, but it has been over a year since I left my people and came to Neverwinter. Now I earn my living as a blade for hire. You're quite well spoken for a half orc. My father was an orc, but er, and the blood of his inhuman race is in my veins. But I was raised by my mother among the tribes of the Uthgard. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know much about the Uthgard tribes. There are some in the city who call my people savages and barbarians. Excuse me. <laughs> because we burp all the time. Uh, but they know nothing of the Uthgard. We are great warriors and hunters, following the herds and living off the land. Oh, excuse me. Gosh. Uh, my tribe is noble but small. Among them was... There was little chance for a young warrior to prove himself and earn a wife. Uh, but I am young and strong, and my people are renowned for their skill in battle. Here in Neverwinter, I found work on the docks as a guard for the cargo at and shipment being transport, transported. Then what happened? Uh, the coming of the plague changed everything. The quarantine halted all incoming or, outgo or outgoing ships. There was no work and no money. Uh, I should have left the docks then. Many of the dock wor workers were afflicted. Men had come to know as friends. Men I had come to know as friends. I stayed to ease their suffering, but in the end, I could do nothing to save them from the wailing death. With my friends dead, there was no reason to stay in the docks. Not with my things, well, not with things getting worse. Now I earn a living with my, uh, with my axe as a freelance mercenary. Looking for a good mercenary. I am no stranger to battle or bloodshed, but I am a warrior with honor. I will not undertake any sinister mission. I had, des I, had I desired such work, I could have found an employment back in the docks. I work for Lady Arabeth. My mission is confidential. I can understand that. If you work, if you're working with Arabeth, then I'm certain your mission must be of great importance. Arabeth's reputation is well known through the city, uh, so I have no fear of your mission. Uh, oh, have no fear. Your mission will be 
would bring dishonor to me. I will work for you if you can agree upon a fair price. I am not one to boast of my abilities yet skill and ferocity of the youth guard of tribes is well known throughout the north. Uh, doubt you will find another axeman who is higher, uh, to hire who is my equal. Only 200 gold pieces and I am uh, your willing servant. That seems expensive. I'll give you 150. Success. Perhaps we could split the difference and settle on 175. 175? Deal. You will not regret this, my lord. My skills are yours to command. I will follow you and perform the best of my abilities according to the orders you have given me. Any time you wish to issue new orders, you have to speak to me again. Okay. We got this guy who's super cool. I think that's a good place to start. Uh, Dalen Red Tiger, definitely my favorite merc. Uh, his cool story, and I don't know, I just like his voice, I think. <laughs> but anyways, um, uh, I'll catch you in the next video, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, uh, yep, yeah, that's it. <laughs> See you in the next video. Bye.